Hi, today we're installing a mid unit for a 200 series Land Cruiser. We've already got a touring unit in position, which has got a cargo barrier. We've removed the third, second row of seats um, and we've put all the bolts back into position, taped off all the other bolt holes that are not being used, exposing the two outer seat brackets and now we'll lift a frame into position. Anti young <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We're using a seat mounting bolt position here, and a seat mounting bolt position here with the existing bolts, and now we'll tighten it into place. Bolts started into the threads, we'll now tighten the frame down. Repeat on the other side, two bolts. As always, hand tight. Now we're going to position the uh, cargo barrier. Now it's the same as the rear cargo barrier. So we've made all our mounting holes and mounting brackets to be the same length, width and height as the normal rear cargo barrier. With cargo barrier into position, start a bolt. With the lower mounting bolts into position, now secure the top of the cargo barrier. High tensile bolts, nylock nuts, so nothing comes loose. Now tighten the lower ones. We leave the uppers loose so that we can adjust the cargo barrier to suit the floor frame that's going in later on. With floor frame, cargo variant position, we now lift floor into, into position. You line the bolt holes, small Phillips head screwdriver, and start all your bolts tightening. All bolts started, we just tighten them down. Once again, always we just do a hand tight and repeat for the other side. The floor, cargo barrier, now we'll lift the, you know, this one's a two-third shelf into position. Bolts in through, started threads, We'll now tighten the cargo barrier so that we can keep it in a good firm position. Okay. Cargo barrier firmly in position, no movement whatsoever, allowing the seat to go back in the full travel position. Same position, otherwise they have to say position, position. <laughs> Allow the seat to come full travel towards the cargo barrier, so for taller people it shouldn't affect their seating position too much. Seat fully back and very large recline still able to be achieved. Far too far back for myself. Mm. And the final thing will fit to this vehicle, having a two-third shelf, we'll put a backstop in between the two cargo barriers so you can load and push things through to the backstop to allow them to stop them from falling over. Giving you facility for a second fridge in through the passenger door. You can fit a full length shelf um, and we have jerry can holders and things like that for water um, that can bolt down to the lower floor. One of the features of this is now gives you a ladder to access your roof rack quite easily without having to climb up and down over the tailgate. Standing through here, up here, now I can access the roof rack quite easily. And here we have a 200 series mid unit 
Chicago Barrier and two-thirds shells.